Hi, my name is Jason Gilbert. I'm the pastor of Fresh Wind Church in Wingham, and this is Hope For You. Uh, when I was a little boy growing up uh, in the church, uh, my sister, my younger sister and I, uh, we were part of a, a very large Sunday school program in the church there. And every once in a while, our Sunday school teacher would do something called an object lesson. And uh, we always thought that those were fun as kids. And so I thought today I'd do a little bit something different for you or with you uh, by way of an object lesson. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to go into your, your drawer and get a very old deck of cards and pick out four random cards just like I did. Uh, the, the cards have to be different, but they do have to have the same backs. Okay, so I want you to pause this video right now and uh, go find four cards that have the same backs but different faces. And, uh, and then when you do that, unpause the video and we will continue. Okay, I hope that you have your four cards here and uh, they're, random, uh, they're random cards. And I just want you to put them like this and fold them up or just get them into one pile. Now, I want you to think back to December, to Christmas time. We were celebrating the, the birth of Jesus and, and uh, every, everything went well. Uh, we started getting together with our, we got together with our families. We had a great time. New Year's came around and... Uh, uh, we were celebratory. We were celebrating the arrival of 2020. I mean, it was going to be an exciting year. Uh, in, in February of this year, it was uh, uh, there was a palindrome. It was literally 020202. Or uh, anyway, um, it, it, and then we started hearing of coronavirus coming out of uh, China and starting to make its way around the world and. You know, we were watching, and I don't think, at least for me, unless I'm completely out of touch, that we were uh, uh, going to experience anything uh, that was uh, going to be any like what we're going through right now. But, you know, as, as you heard the news reports, we started hearing mixed reports. So I want you to just take these cards and just mix them up however you want, okay? Just mix them up until you get satisfied that they are mixed up okay. And then just put them back in a pile like this. January rolled around and we started hearing about coronavirus. And, and you know, so there it was a bit of a bend in the system. And then when February rolled around, uh, we started hearing worse and worse. You know, reports came out. We started hearing the word uh, pandemic. You know, we just didn't know what to think about it. And it just messed started messing things up and then March hit and our whole world got ripped apart and I want you to just take these cards now and rip them so that you have two piles and I want you to put the one pile on top of the other we didn't know what to think about that I mean I've never lived through uh, a, a national emergency before not to mention an international emergency in neither of you I've never seen anything like this and they started uh, they started mixing things up by shutting things down. And that's what we're going to do with this little deck. So they take one card and put it uh, on the on the bottom. Uh, we thought maybe that, uh, you know, the shutdown was originally lasted two weeks. And we thought that that's what it was going to be. At least I did. I didn't think it was going to last like this. So take the next two piles of cards and put those on the bottom to represent uh, the two weeks. Things are, were starting to get mixed up when after the two weeks, it started going longer and longer and longer. A lot of us have gotten messed up over this. Troubled, filled with anxiety, and we didn't know what else to do. I want you to take the top three cards and put those in the middle, somewhere in the middle of the pile. Now, I want you to take this top card and place it near your heart, okay? I'm gonna stick it right here so that 
it can be there. I don't know about you, but I experienced a broken heart over this. Uh, not being able to see my friends, not being able to see my family, not being able to see my church family. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to either choose one, two, or three cards from the top, your choice, and put them somewhere in the middle of the deck. I'm going to choose two and get them in the middle of the deck here. All right. And I want you to also take the, the top card and place it somewhere in the middle of the deck. All right. And, uh, you know, one week went by, two weeks go by, three weeks go by. I want you to take the top, uh, take maybe one, two, or even three cards and just throw them away. Get rid of them. All right. Week one came and went. Take top card, put it on the bottom. Week two came and went. Do the same. Top card, put it on the bottom. Week three came and went. Week four came and went. Week five came and went. Week six came and went. Week seven came and went. You know, there were even a lot of believers at this point were starting to question whether God has forgotten about us. Um, I can't say that I've entertained that thought, but I've often wondered why he's allowing this to go on for so long. Uh, God loves me. Take the top card, put it on the bottom. Uh, God's forgotten about me. Take the next card, throw it away. Uh, God loves me. Take the top card, put it on the bottom. God's forgotten about us. Take it and throw it away. Take the top card. God uh, loves me. Take the next card. God's forgotten all about, about us. <laughs> and keep doing that until you have one card left. And this is uh, an amazing truth that I want to show you about the Lord. Because God can take everything that's mixed up, everything that's not right, everything that's uh, all out of sorts. And yet, in his own way, in his own time, he can put the pieces back together again. And if you take a look, you'll notice that your broken heart your broken card is now one and the same. You see, God can take a broken heart and mend it. God can take a broken system and bring healing out of it and put it back together. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55 that God's ways are higher than our ways. And that God's thoughts are higher than ours. And we can't even begin to understand how or even why God works. But I guarantee you, he is working. I guarantee you, he loves you. And I guarantee you that he is taking all the broken pieces of your life that is uh, happening as a result of this crisis, or perhaps uh, you have a couple of crises, this and some other things that are compounding one on top of the other, and everything got mixed up like those cards. And yet this ace of diamonds or whatever your card found its way back together again god is still in control god is still in charge and i hope folks that this gives you a little bit of hope the lord bless you and we'll see you again <music>